Avis. Hello, I'm Peter Coombs. We're the instructors of the Essential Rainwater Harvesting online course. Today we're continuing on with answering your questions. Here's the next question, Peter. It's quite common. I've heard it many times over that you should monitor the pH of your rainwater system and then remedy for low pH. Is there a health concern such as lead leaching from older plumbing due to this? Both building officials and health authorities have told me that I need to test and remedy for low pH. Thank you for that question, Michelle. The simple answer is no. The, it's a common misconception that's related to managing utility water supply systems that need to keep pH at seven so that their disinfection works throughout the system. The natural pH of rainwater is 5.5 because rainwater is a natural, nat, natural carbonate. So carbon dioxide um, is in, in the air. So um, it's unlike a pH, low pH that's created by, you know, pollution that is persistent, like sulfur or something like that. R the pH in rainwater, um, because it's a natural pH, it adjusts very quickly because it's not buffered by a contaminant that's actually making the pH at that level. So, for example, in a ideal environment, the pH of the rainwater falling on your roof would be 5.5. Um, and as it travels through your rainwater harvesting system towards your outlet, it'll get to about 6.5 because there's no contaminant creating the, the low pH. It's a naturally low pH. It easily varies. Um, as it passes through the system. Now, there shouldn't be lead in your pipes, <laughs> your household plumbing. Mm -hmm. If the perception is, oh, you need to be altering the pH of your, your rainwater storage by adding stuff to it, which is probably a very counterproductive activity for a range of reasons. Um, because it's perceived that you'll have lead in your, in your household water distribution system, the solution to your problem that's been presented to you is actually quite wrong. You need to not have lead in your, in your household yeah. distribution you system. Need to, you need to change your pipes. <laughs> you need to change your pipes. And quite ironically, the chlorine mm -hmm. in mains water supply systems is far more aggressive at corroding away because chlorine and a little bit of debris in your system, which it does exist in um, distribution pipelines, a bit of organic matter, they combine to create hydrochloric acid. It's a, a low level in the system, but the leaching that would happen in such a system um, would be created by a mains water system regardless of whether it's pH 7 or not, it's the chemical in there. So, um, and we found this in extensive research over many years. We went, hang on. They keep telling us that rainwater should be creating all this leaching of the materials and, and uh, mains water doesn't because it's got a pH 7, but the mains water is carrying chlorine which is an acid, which um, as it travels through the system, it's actually creating issues with household plumbing, um, less issues than rainwater. So, so relative to what could happen in your household plumbing with um, the easily buffered naturally, easily naturally buffered um, lower pH in rainwater, um, the mains water was um, more corrosive. So what's the message here? If you're worried about your plumbing system inside your house, changing uh, 
buffering your rainwater supply isn't going to fix it. So um, if it's got lead in it, you need to remove it. Um, if it's got and nickel in it as well, you need to remove it. So Yeah, and that pH in and in of itself is not a health concern, right? No, pH is not a health concern in any health guideline around the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a, something we've inherited by um, the way we manage uh, mains water distribution systems. So it's not a health concern. Fabulous. Thank you, Peter. <laughs>